What's up guys? Just started making the RPG map in World Painter. Just downloaded it, um, hadn't used it in a very long time and I've only made like three things on it. So I'm very, very pretty, I'm, I'm pretty crap at it really. Um, I'm getting a lot better though. I looked up a few tutorials, I think from Jamsy Boy and a few other people. And I got a lot of ideas from them, especially for the, sort of the map itself and how we're going to run it. Um, uh, before I get into that though, I did a competition for Empire. The Dungeon Keeper style game, which I found another one called World of Something. They're actually properly remaking that, but let's not get into that. Um, <laughs> a, I was doing giving away two free copies of the game. Um, link is in the description if you still want to uh, enter for that. Um, I'm giving it about another two or three days. I'll upload another video then on the winners. But with that out of the way, let's get into this. Um, <clears throat> so this is the map. Um, spent a few hours doing it. This map was supposed to be a time lapse video. Totally screwed it up. Started recording, but or taking screenshots, and it just stopped after 200. And after like a few hours of work, I was like, "Yeah, it's gonna be so cool to watch now." And no, no, it just stopped. So <laughs> this is not the. This is totally rough. It's a draft. Um, <clears throat> definitely gonna be changing. I'm just looking at it now, it kind of looks like a skull, which is kind of cool. Didn't really realize that. Um, but it's going to be changing. This map is 4,000 by 4,000. So to get the scale right in this, it's really difficult. Um, there's going to be way more islands added as well. Um, so this is this is going to be deleted most likely. And I'm going to be starting another one. It's going to be about 5,000 by 5,000. Um, I made this one just to test out brushes and stuff. Because I, I imported a few custom brushes. Because um, everyone was saying if you don't have custom brushes, it's just not going to look unique. And I totally agree after using them now. Um... So this was kind of what I came up with, um, well not what I came up with, the Lord guy sent me a draft and I just basically made it more detailed and kind of changed stuff up a bit. So once I made this I sent it off to him and he gave me the, the locations of where people should be. We already had them anyway but um, it's nice to know what they look like in this map now. So this map is going to be basically exactly the same just about 20 or 30 times bigger in scale. Um, it's going to be a lot more detailed as well and a lot more refined. There's a lot of mistakes I made in this map. But as I said, this is like one of my first times properly making a map in this. Actually, it is my first time properly making a map in this. And I looked up a good few tutorials, as I said, so I wasn't totally a noob going into it. Um, there's going to be way more islands because I really want a lot of places for people to build. I don't want it there to be a situation of, oh, there isn't enough places. Um, also, the biomes as well. I just put plop them in but there's going to be biomes spread out a lot more uh, uh, over the place um, a lot more like I think this desert is a bit too sa uh, too sandy this desert is a bit too sandy I mean this biome is a bit too big um, but I do like a big desert so I might change it up a bit and it's a bit too square so there's a lot I'm going to be changing um, <clears throat> so I also added way too much trees. I also want to add custom trees. And I know to do that now, but I didn't want to get too much into that yet. So after sending that off, he sent me back an image of how he thinks it should look like with all the peoples in it. Um, uh, don't mind the names right now. They're just don't mind them. Um, the Knight Rooney guys, which are kind of the kingdom. Um, the guys who think they're above everyone else are going to be in the middle right here. They're going to be a really port city, uh, a port side city. It's going to be a gigantic city and there's going to be a few settlements outside it, maybe just farmlands and stuff like that. Um, uh, they're going to, be, to have lots of boats and all that sort of crap. The, um, the illuminated guys are going to be up here. Um, I not, we're not really sure the style that we're going to go with them yet. The spell ward runies, um, they're probably going to be pretty fun to make actually. <laughs> Squeeze my cheeks. Oh, squeeze me. Um, but they're going to be in a ruined city. Now, those guys are like the mercenary type loot type dudes. Um, they also they have like a they're really really big. Um, they have a leader. They have all that sort of jazz. So they're going to be in a ruined city. I'm thinking of the knights. Maybe it's going to be a huge city, and it's going to be totally in ruins, and it's going to be just like built up with tents and all that sort of crap inside it and it's going to be pretty well defended it's going to be huge as well um so that's going to be the spell award rooney guys the rigia guys i don't even know how to say their name um they're going to be sort of the underground dudes um <clears throat> so they're going to be like 
Uh, I'm not going to say dwarfs because they're not dwarfs, but their stuff is going to be all underground in the mountains. Um, the nomadic dudes, which are going to be like the descendants, we haven't thought up of a name for them yet, but they're going to be the descendants of the descendants of the ancient doodly rudlies. Um, they're going to be, um, we don't know about the style yet. He was thinking like the Tatooine style from Star Wars. Tatooine. But um, if they've been, if they're descendants of them, I think they should have some sort of tech advantage. I'm not really sure yet. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, and then this is going to be the PvP zone. We the, All these other black points were going to be like possible areas for the crossroads, which is our PvP zone. But I think here is going to be a better place. Um, there's going to be a ruined city or ruined something here. Maybe this was a ruined city of the ancient ones. Or maybe it's a ruined city of something or whatever. But this is going to be a PvP zone. Over here, we're probably not going to have PvP. I like the idea of having PvP ever, everywhere. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people just like to be in peace and build. And if they want a PvP, they can go here and PvP. In order to get here, you can either swim or you can go to your capital city. And you can teleport here. Um, these are going to be camps for each of the races. As you can see, they're all color-coded. Um, and they're going to be guarded by really strong NPCs. It's going to kind of be like, you know, World of Warcraft. You know, you kind of try to get into their city sort of thing. Try to kill people in there. But the guards always, like, kill you or whatever. That's going to be pretty fun, I think. Um, so there's going to be a lot of people, like, camping out here or whatever, waiting for a combat or blah, blah, blah. But I think it's going to be a, it's a cool idea to have this crossroad area. Um, so if you never want a PvP, you don't have to. But if you want to finish the quest line, you probably will have to, depending on how it all goes. Um... <clears throat> So that's kind of the rough idea of the map. Um, we were looking at ways of making resources more, you know, I found out how to actually eventually found out how to make it more rare and stuff. Um, after watching, I think it was Jamsy Boy's video who was saying he made his map for a server called Ace Phoenix, I think, Ace Phoenix. But apparently that server failed, so obviously they didn't do everything right. So I kind of want to pick and choose what I take, um, inspiration what I take. Um, you know, if you're going to export, it, there's a few things I want to know as well. Um, so make sure any suggestions or any constructive criticism, please leave it in the comments below because I really want to get this right. Um, so these caverns thing. So if I don't put caverns in, if I don't check this one, I know the chasms are like huge things, but the caverns, if I don't put caverns in or chasms, does that mean there's nothing underneath the ground? Um, if that's the case, that'll be kind of gimpy. Um... I'm thinking I would like, because I've seen what the chasms look like, but I've also seen them destroy maps with the whole, like, breaking through the fucking floor thing. It looks stupid, so I, I'm guessing this is what fixes that. They can't appear below a certain level. Um, so, because it would be kind of cool to have gigantic chasms underneath the ground. It would be easier to mine and stuff. Um, and then people can, like, set up fortresses and stuff underneath the ground. That would be really cool. Um, but is that the case? Do you need to click these in order for it to work? Or if you don't click it, will it automatically make those, you know, automatic, those, those um, natural Minecraft ones? Um, so let me know in the comments what uh, what's that about. I also found out this resource thing. Um, I was just changing around some values, see how it works. Really considering taking away diamond altogether now. Um, not totally from the game. You'll still be able to get it. But not being able to get it through mining because, as I heard and as I was listening in Jamsy Boy video, everyone joins a server, they dig right down, they grab diamond, they have all their tools in like fucking five to ten minutes, and they're bored already. They're like, well, we already got the best stuff in the game. Poof. So the way it's gonna go now is I've made iron like two percent right now. Diamond at its at its like normal is one percent. So I think if I put iron at two percent. And so mostly everyone's going to be running around with uh, iron stuff. So if you see someone running around with diamond, you know they've done something pretty epic or they've done some storyline or done some sort of quest or made a lucky find or maybe found a black market where it sells some diamonds, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but <clears throat> I don't want uh, diamonds to be so freely available. It's just, it ruins the game, I think. And diamond armor is so overpowered and... You know, it just, uh, just I feel like it ruins the game. But I don't want it to be a case where you can't get diamonds, because that's stupid. You will be able to get diamonds, but when you get diamond tools, all that sort of stuff, you will cherish them way more. I don't think there'll be a case of, there probably will be, but there won't be many cases of people having like a chest full of like 20 diamond pickaxes and like two or three sets of diamond armor. Might be a case 
depending on how long you've played on a server, if you've played a long time on a server, that probably could be a case. But if you're brand new, you won't be getting it very fast. Um, I think that would be a great way to, in order to regulate it. It also, he was saying as well, it, it would give, which makes total sense, it gives admins tons of power now. So if you see like someone with like tons of diamond, you know they're cheating. If you see someone with tons of tons of iron or tons of other resources, which you've made a lot harder to get, you know there's something wrong. So it's a good way to regulate the map. Um, so I know how that works. Uh, the other layers, I haven't really looked at that yet. Um, so that's sort of the ideas we have right now. Um, I'm really liking it. We still have to make the in-between zone, but they're going to be very small maps. Like they're going to be just uh, multiverse things that you can go go between. The he the heaven world, which would be which won't, will be, it'll be really big as well. Like, but it's going to be a, like hundred by hundred blocks. It's just going to be a city in the sky. Like you, you're not. It's not going to be very resource intensive. And also as well, the the, the hell world is going to be exactly the same. Um, so I really, really, really like it. I like the ideas, I like the idea we're all coming up with so far, and I like how it's turning out. Um, once this is done, once I make the second one, so the next video for me you should see will be an actual proper time lapse of me making the new map. Well, a more refined, bigger map. Because um, I, I looked at it in-game. Looks really nice. Actually, I still have it opened. It looks really nice. I went way too nuts with the trees. But I'm going to be using custom trees anyway. <laughs> So these ones, I just put them down for placeholders, really, or to see what they look like. It was all testing, um, but I also went a bit crazy with the sand and stuff. So I, I, I learned a lot from making this, which is great because now when I make the new one, it's going to be way better. Um, so that's that's pretty much it, really. It'll, it'll take me way too long to fly around this map. It's freaking huge, like. But um, I, I just wanted, to just I just really wanted to put everyone's worries out of the way that like there will be a lot of space to build. So if you're worried, there will be a good bit of space to build. Um, people are also worried that it, these were more sort of factions instead of races. They, you are right. They are more factions, but each faction are gonna allow other races join them. So. Not all of them, no. Maybe I want, like, uh, maybe certain races won't allow, certain factions won't allow certain races. But we're still coming up with maybe a way of creating your own race. But I don't want it to be a case of everyone running around making stupid races, you know. So I, I'm probably going to um, um, have a good few um, primary ones. And maybe say like the the spell wards, the mercenaries, they're mercenaries, so they can have any race. Maybe these guys can have a certain amount of races, and maybe the humans only tolerate certain races, or these night guys, I mean, only tolerate certain races, or maybe the nomads are a certain sort of race. But there will be other races, so don't worry if you're all like, oh, I want to be an orc, or I want to be an elf, or I want to be one of these traditional um, races. You can, but we're just making it a bit more open, so it's not so like, oh, this is where the the barbarians are, this is all oh, where the burger guys are, this is where humans are, this is where dwarfs are, this is where sand people are. Don't like that. Um, but in the end, when you really break it all down, that's what it is. But I don't want it to make it like that, if that makes sense. Um, so that's pretty much it, really. Um, tell me what you think. I really wanted your, your criticism on this, because uh, I want to get this right the first time around. I don't want the server to just come out, because I have a lot of people that really are really, well... They're really liking the idea, so I don't want to ruin it. Um, uh, also, as well, once this is done, I'll start organizing the build team, and all where these these places are, we're probably gonna like go into a separate server, or a separate map. I'll probably host myself, and we'll come up with a theme for each city. Once we have a theme, we start making some like test houses and test walls and test structures and how it's gonna look. Then we're gonna go in, map out the area where we're gonna do it all. And then we're probably going to time lapse each of the cities. So hopefully we'll have one, two, three, four, five time lapses up. And maybe we'll do one for the crossroads because that's going to be a big PvP zone and it's going to be very detailed with ruins and all that sort of crap. But um, it's going to be very detailed and it's going to be very spot on how it looks. Um, I don't want stuff to look out of place. As if you know, you have, obviously, if people have watched me, if you guys have watched all my other stuff, you know I like making stuff look pretty and make it look very aesthetically pleasing. Um, so there's not going to be very, there's not going to be a lot of, you know, ugly buildings or stuff that doesn't look right. So um, you could count on me to make that happen at least. Um, but 
Um, with all that being said, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Again, please like this video if you want, if you uh, if you want, if you like the way this is turning out, because uh, I love the support it's actually getting right now. It's it's pretty exciting. Um, then we started getting the plugins together. That's going to be some big undertaking, getting all those quests and plugins done, but we will do it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just make sure to drop a like and a comment if you like the way it's turning out, and if you want to leave a suggestion. Um, don't think that don't think there's um anything else really want to talk about. Just anything that I, I that you can see that I'm making a mistake with the world a world painter. Please say it to me because I don't want to make it and then start building in a world and then realize I've screwed up big time. So anything you see that I'm screwing up with, please let me know. Um, but again, thanks. Well, not even again because I haven't said it yet. But thanks for watching. Um. <laughs> Make sure you leave your suggestions, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be a time lapse if I don't screw it up again. Bye!